I'm, I'm a bad person for this show because I like a lot of music. I hate Oasis. That's about it. <laughs> hey, CBC Music. I'm Steve Earle, and we're about to play Jam or Not a Jam. I got the horses in the back. Horse stock is attached. This is a jam. I don't understand this being removed from the country charts. I'm not going to tell anybody what's country and what's not because there were people that said that what I was doing wasn't country when Guitar Town came out. I had somebody dance by the stage and tell me, you know, oh, play something country. And I just stopped and I said, I have the number one country album this week. I decide what's country and what's not. A movie queen to play the scene of bringing it's a big deal for me, this song. It was kind of the ultimate chick song. You know, it's one of those things that, you, that I learned it immediately and started playing it. But everybody can relate to it because if they've ever been in love, and that's that's what this job is, it's empathy. So and I told Lightfoot so when I finally met him. I was taken out to the house and dropped off, and I thought somebody would come in with me, but they just drove away, and I went up and knocked on the door, and Gordon Lightfoot came to the door, and, and we spent a couple hours playing songs back and forth, and it was a... Uh, it was a big deal for me, and I told him, if, that's, if a jam is good, it's totally a jam. <laughs> well, it's one of the greatest melodies ever written. My son has autism, and he, he, melodies are the only way he communicates. He doesn't speak, but he knows 150, 200 melodies. This is one of them. And he, you can start singing them and he'll complete them. He knows every note in the sound of music. So I hear this song every single day. So it's hard for me to hate this melody one way or the other. So it's a jam. I've always liked this track. People are so preoccupied with the doom and gloom side of towns that I tend towards the other stuff just because there's enough people that you know, post-mortem Kurt Cobain fans and stuff that just want to, you know, latch onto that part of it. And I'm the same way about Cobain. Towns had a lot of problems. He was, you know, he did. He was an alcoholic and he was mentally ill and, and, and he struggled with both of those things all of his life. And I did want to shoot that flute player every once in a while when I hear this stuff. <laughs> That's one of those things. I, I, I wish I could have produced all of Towns' records myself. You know, years later, just redone them all. Uh, uh, but I, I love this song. It's a jam, even if I hate the flute. What's that guy doing back there? <laughs> it's like, bizarre.